Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for you guys today, I wanted to do like another full face makeup video. I've done a couple of these on my channel, but this is a brand that I personally, I really, really love all the products of theirs that I've tried. Their foundation is my favorite. So today we are going to be doing a full face of Milani and I have everything in this little bin. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I have a couple of disclaimers. One, I am not a makeup artist in any way, shape, or form. I'm not related to, like, cosmetology, none of that stuff. I just do this for fun because I enjoy these types of videos, because I enjoy filming these types of videos. Um, so please don't leave me any, like, I mean, if you comment, please don't leave any nasty hate comments about how bad my makeup looks. I'm usually well aware by the time I get done with this. Um, so, what else? Oh yeah, and if you guys, so with that being said, if you guys like these videos, please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would very much greatly appreciate it. I am trying to hit 200 subscribers, and when I get there, I have a giveaway planned. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first product I have from Milani is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. It's the hydrating one. Like I said, I've used some of their products before, but not this one, and not a lot of their products. I've just used, like, their foundation... And they're highlighters, I think. That's all I've used before. Um, so it still has like the little silver seal thing on it. I'm gonna use some of this. Not a lot, but enough. It's like a pea-sized amount. And just so you guys are aware, I do have on moisturizer too. I'm gonna pull this closer so I can actually see what I'm doing. And right here is my mirror. So if I'm looking here instead of here, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. Um. Anyway, yeah, I put on, like, moisturizer. I didn't do sunscreen because I'm not going outside today. Um, but if you were going outside, I would recommend sunscreen. I am a vampire, though, so I do not ever leave my house okay. scary side of the mirror I don't know if it's like overly hydrating or if my skin is just really dry and like sucked it up. Um, oil free. It says it's hydrating. It's not like overly hydrating then I guess. It does feel like there's a nice like slip to it. Like the foundation might go on really easy. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer and foundation in 008 porcelain um and since you guys have seen me put this on before i'm just gonna do it off camera to make this video a smidge a bit shorter okay so this is what it looks like with the foundation on um i only used two pumps i kind of wanted like not a super full coverage look just because i do want my skin to like look like skin but if you want a really full coverage look the foundation does build up really well. I know that from past experience. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. The primer, I don't think the primer really did anything. I think if you just had on a really good moisturizer, it would probably help more. Um, but since we have the foundation on, I do want to set it. Um, just because I, I think it should be set. Um, so... For powder, I have two. I have the Milani Translucent Powder for um, light to medium skin tones in 01. And then I just have this Prep Set and Go Powder. Um, and I think I'm just going to use this one because my face isn't feeling real st Oh, wait, I forgot concealer. Ha ha ha. Um, concealer first. How about that? So I've never used this product before. It still has like the tape on it. 
Um, God dang it. But this is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 100 Fair Ivory. And I'm only going to do like a little bit just because I don't want to do like any covering. That foundation did like a pretty good job of evening everything out. I just want to like brighten a little bit. My nose is always so red though. Just a little brightening. This is a thick concealer, too. I'm just gonna use my finger. That covered up like whatever darkness I did have under my eyes. Can you see the difference? But you don't need a whole heck of a lot. There's that, and I, I am going to take like a little bit and just put some on the end of my nose just to help cover up the redness there. Um, just a little smidgen bit. Okay, so there's that. At this point, if your foundation has been sitting as long as, like, what this one has, which is probably, like, a solid almost five minutes, it's pretty much dry. Um, I'm still going to take this powder and just set everything just a little bit because my face, it's not tacky, but it feels, like, kind of sweaty, and I don't like that feeling. Um, so, I'm just, that's a blush brush. I'm going to take this AOA Studio... F12 powder brush and just into the powder and kind of just lightly dust over everything. Okay. All right, so there is that. It's actually like a really nice powder. It set me without like drying me out, really, which I think is important because I do have fairly like dry skin. I used to be really, really oily, and now I'm like really, really dry. And I can't tell if it's just because I've gotten older, or if it's because of the fact I started using more drying like skincare products to help combat the oiliness I was experiencing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I kind of want to do contour a little bit. Um, I need to go get the brush for that real quick. Okay, so and for contour, Milani on their website doesn't actually have any products meant for like strictly contouring. Um, but they do have this Milani... Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed, which I'm going to use to kind of contour. I also have, like, an actual bronzer, like, another bronzer, too, I kind of want to try. But this is what it looks like. I've never used this product before. Um, so there's that. And then I'm just going to take this Real Technique Sculpting Brush. 
um, and use this just kind of give them cap off. And then how I contour is I always follow like right underneath this point of my face. So I go almost to like this part of my ear and I just follow it down. Because I have like a little hollow right there to begin with. Let's see. And then with this brush, because it does have like this little bump, you don't want to like go back and forth. You just have to keep lifting up. Kind of doing that motion. I don't look too bad. Oh no, that definitely looks more, and even in my mirror, it looks more sculpted there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That's dark. Mm hmm that's really dark. Why isn't it that dark on this side? Damn it. Hold on. I'll fix this in a minute. I'm just gonna take like what's left on the brush for the most part and kinda do this bit on my forehead. And then yeah, I gotta fix that side. And then I can go over here and do it and then I'm just gonna do some on my jawline as well because I do have no jaw. Yay. Okay. There's that. And then real quick, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. Okay, so I think I got it as good as it's going to get for right now. Um, I just took on this side because I think it was not so bad on this side, but it was definitely worse on this side. I just took the powder, this one, and my beauty sponge, and I just went over it again to kind of, like, soften it somewhat. Um, so now, here's the thing. I know that was a bronzer, but I kind of want to, like, actually bronze and not contour. Um, so Milani has this, um... Oh, that's a highlighter. Hold up. That is a highlighter. This baked bronzer in the shade Glow. Um, this has got actual... It's very glowy and it's very, very warm toned. Like, the other one was a bit more cool toned. This has got actual glitter in it. If you're thinking it's going to give you, like, a glow, it's not like the Physician's Formula one, which has got, like, a sheen. This one has got actual glitter flecks in it. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite bronzing brush, which is the It Cosmetics, um, airbrush powder and bronzer brush, and I'm just going to kind of get some product on there, and then I'm going to, so I watched Hilary Doff do her makeup for Vogue the other day, and I've actually watched that video probably six or seven times now. I'm just going to go in the W formation that she says, and then just, and the reason that is, is because that's where, like, if you have on sunglasses, that's where the sun is going to hit you. Um, I don't mind looking like that. I can't tell if it actually do anything or not. Hold on, I must consult with a brighter light. Okay, after consulting with a much brighter light, because 
I'm not sitting in front of my window this time. I'm sitting on my bed in the light because it's sunny enough out right now. It's coming in and that's how I'm getting my lighting right now. I already kind of have product on my forehead, so I'm not really going to worry about that. But I'm going to put some bronzer on my neck real quick just to kind of like even everything out. This just gives you like a nice, subtle, like glowy sheen. But if you if you want a bronzer without glitter in it, I would not use this one because it actually has real glitter in it it's not sheen it's just straight up glitter um so there's that and then because i want to be even more glowy i'm gonna go in with their baked blushes one of their baked blushes this is in the shade rose dioro um this is what it looks like and I'm gonna take the blush brush kind of I just normally I smile but I can kind of see where the apples on my cheeks are so I'm just gonna put it there and kind of drag it back that's pigmented maybe I put on too much oh well I don't have to leave my house today Who cares if I put on too much? Nobody's gonna see it but me. And then maybe just a little bit on my nose. There, and then I kind of just want to take the powder brush and swirl everything together so it's not really harsh. There's that. And then. Milani has a new formula of highlighter, so I have the new one. I also have the old formula. Um, this is one of their older formula highlighters. Milani highlights are just good in general. If you want a good drugstore formula, I don't want to say it's cheap because they're not. This is like $10 and this one is like $12 because it's a trio. Um, they're not cheap, but they're also not crazy outrageously expensive if you want a good highlighter and you can afford it i would go for either just go with a milani highlighter they don't fail um uh, but i kind of want to use since we've used so many baked products already i figured just why not and this is like a newer formula for them this one is in the shade dulce perla this is what she looks like she's real pretty and i'm just going to take a highlighting brush this one's the Morphe J Jeffree Star collab. Put that on there, and then this. I'm just gonna put it. That is really pigmented. Kind of in a C shape around my eye. Can you see that? Yeah, baby. And I just take it all the way back to the hairline too. Just right there because I find that that works for me because I don't really have too much texture right here. Whereas right here I do. Um, and I don't really want to emphasize the texture on, on my face. Um, so... Right there, and then I'm kind of just going to take a little bit and put some on the bridge of my nose. Um, not too much, just right on the bridge of my nose right there. And then, because my nose, I already put like a little bit of concealer here, it's kind of already doing like that glowy thing, but... Just on the bridge. I don't want to take it all the way down. So, whoosh, damn it, channel. I swear to God, I want to break everything. Okay, so this is what the base looks like. We're going to move on to eyes, 
next. Okay, so for eyes, I kind of want to do eyebrows first. Let me find my eyebrows thing. Is this a, is this a brow or is this the liner? This is the brow. So I have the, and this says it's new. Um, I have it in 140 medium brow. This is their precision brow pencil. Um, I always use a brow pencil. Usually mine are from Shop Miss A. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll switch to Milani now. I hope not. <laughs> I have so many of the Shop Miss A ones because it's my favorite one. Um... I can't open things. This is a really tiny pencil. I have big hands. This is like tiny. This is not even the size of a normal pencil. Um, so it has a spoolie on one end and then it has the... This is a really small tip. But that'll be good for like if you need to draw an actual brow hairs, I guess. I usually don't. I just like to fill mine in. <sighs> oh, spoolie. Come up. And then I'm going to... Bear with me, you guys. This might take a minute. Is this one that's got the thing in the bottom? Yep. Holy cow. Do you see the... <laughs> oh no. Oh well. We'll just move on with our days. What the fun? Oh shit. I can't do this. Hold on. I'm gonna use this as a mirror really quick. Just void. That's as good as that part's gonna get. Let's get to the the meat of the brow. I can't do it. I need this. Can't hold my mirror up. Oh, God, no. I have to... Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta fix this. Okay, so my eyebrows are just going to be, like, distant cousins today, or fraternal twins, one of the two. Um, if you like brow pencils with, like, really fine tips, you would like this. I, I like it for doing, like, the front part of my brow, but I definitely would have to switch to, like, a, a, a larger tip to fill in. Because I already have... Like, I like my shape. I already have enough hair there. Um, but my eyebrows are kind of lighter than, like, what my actual natural hair color is. And so, I, I just usually use it to darken. Um, <clears throat> but this isn't a bad brow pencil. I mean, I'll use it again. It's just kind of hard to use to, like, fill in or darken because the tip is so fine. You have to go, like, color it in like it's a Sharpie. Um, okay. So, now that those are done we are going to move on 
Who, what are we gonna do? Probably eyes. Next. Yeah, um, actual eyes. Um, okay, so for eyes, I actually have a primer today. Not, we're not using the concealer. I have the Milani eyeshadow primer, like that, and it looks like this. And then I'm going to just take a teensy tiny little amount on my hand, like that. I keep dropping everything. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and the primer, which is now smeared all over my hand. I'm just going to kind of put it on my lid, kind of underneath my brow bone. I might need to get more because it ended up all over my sweatshirt. <sighs> Today is going to be a day. Normally, you shouldn't have to go back in for more. Like, I'll be the first one to admit that, but I fudged up. And that concealer's not creasing yet. I mean, I didn't use a whole lot, but it's not creasing. It's not emphasizing any wrinkles that I have down there. And I have several, so that's good. Okay, so we put on the eye primer, and now that we are all blanked out, we are going to, as you guys probably saw, we're going to be using this Gilded Nude palette. Um, I've swatched these. I haven't actually used them, um, but this is what it looks like. It's definitely my color scheme. So for that, then, we are going to go in, well, we're just going to get started. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Weekender, which is like this lightest shade right here, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid with this Alter Ego number no. 3 brush, because I just kind of want to set the primer. I don't know if you have to or not. I normally set concealer, so... I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna tap that on there. And for being such a light shade, that does have payoff. Can you guys even see? I'm gonna zoom in just slightly. Okay, and then the next color I want to use is going to end up being this Do Not Disturb shade right here. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. I mean, there's pigment there. Let me try a smaller brush. Yeah, definitely needed a smaller brush because my eyes are so hooded. That's nice.
Yeah, so that's actually quite nicely pigmented for a really light shade. I don't, I think that primer is helping a little bit because these are quite dusty, like in the pan. These are really, really dusty shadows. Um, but as long as they have payoff and pigment on the eyes, I really don't think that's a big deal. Um, so for the next shade, I'm going to use a deeper shade called Hit Snooze right here. And I'm just going to put that on like my outer corner and crease and then kind of smudge it out beneath. I'm going to use the same brush for that. And this is an AOA Studio E130. Anybody's wondering? Kind of use small circular motions to get it on there and then kind of bring it up some into that other color just to like add a bit of smokiness. Um, and then I'm just going to take it and run it down. lower lash line like that and then it didn't actually really want to stay give me this I'm gonna use a flatter brush to put it actually on the lid Right, so that shade's not really like crazy pigmented, but if you're like if you want like a softer smoky eye, maybe you would like it. Um, I mean, I like how it looks right now. It's just like the darker brown shades are not crazy pigmented. It's going to always give you like a more softer, subtle look. And then to finish off the eye shadow, I'm going to go with... Mm, let's do Keep Searching. Or no, let's do this one. Which is 75 and Sunny. And I'm just gonna use my finger, trying to drag it on. Okay, so there is the eyeshadow all complete. I'm going to tell you guys my final thoughts at the end. Um, but let's do eyeliner next. So I have the eyeliner in After Dark. Right here, this is what it looks like. It has, it's a twist up, and then if you wanted to create a smoky, what the hell? That's what that is. 
it has like a smudger stick at the end, which is kind of cool. Um, but I'm just going to take it and kind of run it underneath here. I don't have like a really dark brown or a... They're just really tiny. That's quite nice. That's a really good eyeliner. Oops. Um, I'm just going to take the smudger end and kind of... I like that a lot. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to do mascara next. So this is the Milani Highly Rated 10 in 1 Volume Mascara. I've never used this before either. Like I said, really the only thing I've used... Dang used before is the um i've used the foundation highlighters and blushes before i've never used any of this other stuff um oh wow that is that is a really big wand um okay let me get this thing again real quick there we go Holy. You guys see that? Holy. Wow. Just wow. That is good. Wow, 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 wow. I think maybe it's because like I'm more, it's like more gloopy formulation but, but holy cow I like that. I really like that. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's good. Wow. Now that that's taking me 10 minutes to put on mascara, but whatever. 
Okay, so on to the last couple of things, which is lipstick and setting spray. Um, I have the, uh, this is new, because they did a collaboration with Salt and Pepper. Um, so I did buy both of the lip kits that they had. One is in Shoop, and it's kind of like a nudie or brown, and then there's Push It, which is like this deep or bright red. I kind of want to try Push It, so we're going to do that one. Come on, get out. Okay. Um, so it has a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm going to do the lip liner part off camera just because I have a very hard time with lining my lips still. Okay, so don't laugh at the way I did the lip liner. I realize it's not perfect, but as mentioned before, I don't really put on lip liner too often. Um, but that's a pretty color. I like that color, and I think it goes really well with this look just because, like, the eye is so neutral. Um, and then we're gonna do the shade number 26 of the Milani Bullet Lipsticks uh, and push it. It smells so good. That's a pretty color. Ooh, damn. Okay. Whatever. And then last but not least, the final thing we're going to do is set it. And then we have the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I got the biggest one just because I don't have very many setting sprays. And I kind of don't want to have to keep buying anymore. Um, so we're just going to spray. That's a nice mister. I mean, it is, what is it supposed to smell like? It says it's 16 hour wear. It kind of smells a little bit like hairspray. Um, but yeah, so that is the look all complete. We're going to do a run through really quick of the products. Um, I don't think the primer really did anything. I'm going to keep using it, but I don't think it did too much. Um, except, yeah, it didn't really do too much. The foundation is my all time favorite foundation. I love that. Uh, the concealer. Oh my god, the concealer. It didn't crease. Like, if we look at my under eye still, right now, yeah, there's creasing, but that's always there. The concealer didn't add any more creasing on top of it. Where did it go? <laughs> I like that. Um, maybe if I can it again. The, what did we do next after that? The powder. This powder. I really enjoyed this powder. It gives me, like, a light set without being too heavy. It just, it took away, like, the sweatiness feeling I was having. Um, the eye primer, I think that did a splendid job on helping with the eyes. The eyeshadow palette, I like the color story. I think that the lighter colors are really nice. I think the shimmer shades are really nice. I think the darker colors are a little bit, like, not, they're not crazy pigmented. Like, they're not as pigmented as what they could be. Um, the highlight, the bronzer, and this blush. I love these. I think Milani's baked formula is killer. Um, the mascara. You guys all saw my reaction to the mascara. I loved it. The brow pencil. I will use it again. Um, but just to like do the front part of my brow, I would much rather prefer something a little bit thicker to do the last of it. Just because for me personally, all I'm trying to do is fill in and like make the color there a little bit darker. Um, that's eyebrows. Mascara I loved. The eyeliner was really nice. The eyeliner was stupendous, actually. It's really, really creamy. It glided on real easy. Same thing with the lip liner. That went on really easy. I really love this color combination. Um, yeah, I mean, I like the lipstick, too. So, basically, I think, overall, this brand, like, Milani... Okay, so let's talk about it real quick. Milani is definitely a more expensive brand for a drugstore brand. Nothing here was under five dollars most of it was actually six or eight dollars and then it went all the way up to 20 like the eyeshadow palette was 20 dollars um which is the most i'll ever pay for anything 
drugstore, I think anything over $20 is, you're not drugstore, you're creeping into, like, a mid-tier high-end makeup. Um, but I think the reason why Milani can get away with it is because the products today, they performed really, really well. I enjoy them. I will keep using them. So I think if you don't mind splurging a little bit at the drugstore, Milani is really a good brand to go for. Um, like I said, especially, like, their baked products. Um, but yeah. I, I like how I look right now. I really like it. I think I overdid the lips a little bit, but... Mm, and they're kind of... Whatever. I gave up. I tried. Um, anyway, so that is today's video. If you guys enjoy this video, please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would very much greatly appreciate it if you would do that. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Bye!